What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about some balance changes that Bungie's looking to do in the future. And they said these will probably will probably be out in the coming weeks, so early August. Uh, they're looking at a few changes for abilities, armor, and weapons. When it comes to abilities, bringing the swarm grenade and the threaded specter into line with everything else, and also increasing twilight arsenal and hammer of soul damage versus bosses and mini bosses. And that was going to be one way they were talking about buffing the Titan, was giving that increased damage to twi Twilight Arsenal and Hammer of Soul. But I still think they're going to do a bit more to the Prismatic Titan than just buff the Twilight Arsenal, but overall that will help. When it comes to armor, uh, correcting an issue that allows swapping between regular armor mods and reserve armor mods to enable a higher um, uh, ammo count than the current maximum. This was never an intended functionality. To help offset this fix, we're buffing the following ammo-related aspects. Reserve ammunition for all weapon types has been increased by up to 15%, with weapons with low reserves for their weapon type getting a large buff, and they will reduce the cost of reserve mods by one. And last but not least, they talked about some you know, changes for weapons, increasing the tech's scout rifle damage by 30% in PvE, reducing flinch for sniper rifles by 50% versus combatants in PvE, which is something that a lot of people noticed when the Final Shape released, that the sniper flinch was really bad in PvE. And of course, Bungie kind of talked about this at one point that was kind of to do with the adding more flinch in PvP, and somehow, you know, that kind of just got into PvE as well. So they're looking to reduce that back down for sniper rifle flinch. Uh, increased Ariana's Vows damage by 67% versus barrier shields and removing stat penalties from adept mods. In addition to the updates shared during course during the live stream that we re uh, recently had, they wanted to mention that they will be changing the steel hunt. So the steel hunt is going to get nerfed. They plan on reducing the steel hunt's golden gun shot damage when paired with Celestial Nighthawk by 25%. Since launch, they've been mon monitoring the potency of this exotic and felt it needed a slight adjustment. While hunters have the opportunity for some, uh, you know, really good damage with Celestial Nighthawk, your gold gun, and of course the gold gun shot from Steel Hunt, uh, they should this should help reduce a bit of the damage disparity between each class and between what should be viable weapon alternatives. Whisper of the Worm has a bit more opportunity to outshine this special exotic with upcoming artifact perks after these changes, and they'll be looking out for whatever fun boss melting clips you can come up with. So they are going to, uh, like I said, they're going to reduce the Steel Hunt's Gold Gun shot damage when paired with Celestial Nighthawk. So if you're using the Steel Hunt on your uh, Warlock or Titan, you're not going to have to worry about that damage reduction. But if you are using the Steel Hunt, on your hunter with a gold gun, you're not going to be quite as it's not going to be quite as strong when you're out, you're using that gold gun shot and also that uh, your gold gun shot from your steel hunt, um, and that that's kind of something that a lot of hunters have been doing because it is very very good in a damage rotation. Leave me a comment your thoughts, and of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.